This is the Polder Instant Read Thermometer. The maker claims this waterproof device is just what you need to ensure your food is cooked properly every time. It's easy to operate. Simply unfold to turn it on, fold it close to turn it off. No buttons or dials. Has a large backlit LCD readout that auto rotates 180 degrees for perfect viewing every time. The touchscreen hold button allows you to read the temperature without bending or straining. And it also has an extra thin probe tip for smaller puncture holes. Batteries are included with this unit and it sells for 25 bucks at Boss Cos and Scranton. But does it really work? To find out, we compare it to a few food thermometers that we use on a weekly basis. You may remember this one, the Progressive Digital Thermometer. We tested that back in July 2020 at Pizza Plus in Scranton. Did a great job for us got thumbs up. But how will it compare to the new Polder thermometer? Let's find out. To turn it on, we just open it and we're ready to go. We start by measuring the temperature of some wings we made. We have the three thermometers, a wired white one, the progressive black one, and the new red Polder thermometer. First thing we notice, the red thermometer is much faster compared to the other two. Also, the display will rotate with your hand, so you can read it in any direction, even upside down. That's nice. Each time we check the temperature of the meat, we used a timer, as you can see. The wired white thermometer took about 30 seconds to give us a reading. The black progressive model took us about 15 to 20 seconds to give us a reading. The new red polder thermometer did it in under five seconds, much faster. We compared the temperatures of all three units and they were within a few degrees of each other. So the readings seem correct. We also tested with boiling water, and once again, the new red polder thermometer was much faster. We like this unit a lot. Works really well, we give it thumbs up. One last note, the maker claims it's waterproof. So we let it go for a swim, pulled it out of the water, and continued checking food temperatures. Good deal. Now the fine print does say, do not completely submerge the unit in water, but we did it anyways, and it's still working great. Kurt Aaron, Newswatch 16.